Every t- any time when me reach the emancipation park, them time when me happy. Oh, happy. when you're in emancipation park, you're happy. Yeah, we, we meet nice people, and sometimes we go on for the north coast at Ochi. Okay, and then those are your happy moments. Yeah. Come on over, come on over to the Dolo Package Show. Come on over, come on over to the Dolo Package It's real, so much fun. Have a good time, yes you will. Got style, got players. Get in the zone with a Total Package Show. Come on over, come on over to the Dolo Package Show. Come on over. Over to the Total Package Show. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rajon Brown and this is the Total Package Show. Wow, the season finale is here. Yes, this is our 12th episode of this season and it is the final one. Did you watch all the shows? Did you watch from episode, episode 1 to episode 11? If not, please, after the show, Go back and watch it because you'd have missed a lot. Wow, season three at an end. And you've asked, you've asked, you've asked. You've asked for two main persons this season. Every episode, you see, you, I, I see the comments coming in. Make sure Derek Morgan is on the show. Mwah, 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 Make me so sad. I'm in a shit not church. Me not shit not no church. Me don't shit not no church. Me not supposed to be sad, so. Me not supposed to be sad, so. Oh, the other. Me not know this girl, you know. Sometimes people, they don't know them, they don't know them size and, and limited, you know. She don't say they know they're limited, you know. They don't know how limited. You can't see somebody that come, the girl is full of people, and the girl is talking about dirty Derek. You want beer. You should the girl out of them bright. It's all child, man. Yes. And people, here I get him for you, Derek Morgan. Derek Morgan, how are you? Not bad, sir. You're not bad? Yeah. Whoa. I'm glad to have you. Yeah, man. It's been a long time coming. Yeah. Yes, and you're here. Yeah, okay. So we're going to talk and we're going to entertain the people and give them a grand finale. Okay. Ready for that? Yeah, man. So we're trying to get to know you better. So we're going to want, I want you to tell us about Derek Morgan. Um, Derek Morgan is an honest person. He's an honest person? Yeah, and he used to get along with yeah. nice people. You're nice. Okay. Yeah. So tell me, where, where are you originally from? St. Mary. Oh, you, St. Mary come from? Yeah. One song, another song. St. Mary, where come from? <laughs> I'm a, I'm, yes, what? But I grew up in Kingston. Oh, so you are born in St. Mary and you grew up in Kingston? Yeah. Okay, tell us, tell, tell us what it was like in St. Mary. Okay, I um, grew up in St. Mary. Yeah. And then after all, we left in St. Mary and come to town to live with my family. Oh, to live with your family in Kingston. But my not having a mother, my mother passed off. Oh, your mother passed off? From about 9 o'clock and my mother did 9 30. Oh, who yeah. tell you that? Yeah. I'm an auntie grew up. Wow, so you were born 9 o'clock? My mother did 9 30. And your mother died 9 30. Was yeah. it because of the complication while having you? I don't know. You, you know. don't know? So no. what them tell your cousin? They just tell me that my mother, I don't have a mother because she passed off me after she pushed me out. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear yeah. that. So what about your father? He passed off. I don't, don't go with him. So you've never met your father? Once. Oh, you met him once? Yeah. I'm gone. And, and he passed you? Yeah. So passed. you're currently an orphan. You have no mother, no father? No family at all. Oh, wow. No family? No. So you moved to Kingston and you said that your, your family was taking care of you? Yeah, she passed of my aunt. Well, your aunt passed. Yeah, so your mother, your mother, 1980, so your mother passed, your father passed, and your aunt, who you moved to Kingston with, passed. Yeah. Wow. I'm in the my own right now. So from then, you've been on your own? Yeah, upside and down from the road, all over the globe. Okay, so before we go to that, um, let's go back to St. Mary. Did you go to school? like? Public? Yeah, we go to um, Taki Secondary School. So from primary, primary school you went to? Goshen All Age. Oh, you went to Goshen All Age, and then you moved from there to? Taki Secondary. Taki Secondary, okay. Yeah. And you graduated high school? Yeah, them time is not a high school, a secondary. Oh, a secondary, them time then? Yeah, so sec- what age, what, um, what, uh, what Le- grade? Le- so you went to grade 11? Yeah. So you didn't graduate? No. Why? You know them? 
them people, they don't have it. They don't have no them time. They don't have no money them time. Oh, so you actually went to grade 11, but you didn't get to graduate because you didn't have any money? Yeah, no. No phone on him something. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Now, you're the bright boy at school? I can't help myself because after that means you come to town and go cooking school. Oh, you went cooking school after? Yeah. But let's go back to high school just a little bit. In, in high school, what did you usually do? You used to run? You used to on the quiz team? No, no you, not all like that. You just did at school, say nothing? No, you food, can't be at me. No, that's food prep you used to do at school. Oh, you used to love food? Yeah, love food. Okay, so like in the home economics and those yeah, stuff, yeah. you love food? Yeah. Okay, so you did high school and then now, you come to Kingston and you went to cooking school. Which cooking school was that? That is um, Sanders Catering School. Oh. We go to the service ticket here. We have ambition and who at Tarbob said, we now better myself. See there, we do level one and level two in our food preparation. And we do keep decorating. And I look job all over the place and I get you so no look people. Look on TikTok people. Look on TikTok people. We need help. We get a job. We get someone to live. See there? Level one and level two. That could go See something there? See there? See there people? Now look on it. Look. Look. Right this way there. So you can cook your big chef? Yeah, we can cook good. So what if we can hire if you can cook some food <laughs> for me? I mean, so work down, down the road, yeah, so. Oh, you still work at a cook shop? No. Hotel. Okay, so you did cooking school, but you didn't work there. So you didn't work in a cook shop. You didn't. Mm -mm. Oh, so you just have the training. Yeah, but we used to do, we used to do like a part time work at Jamaica Pegasus. Oh, so you used to work at Jamaica Pegasus? Yeah, I'm about to the guy into Texas for me. I was angry, I'm going to go back. So what are you used to work at Jamaica Pegasus? <laughs> and then you just said, somebody to Texas for you? Yeah, the guy, them. Same. Oh, the guys used to work there to trouble you? Yeah. So you left Jamaica Pegasus? They might go on, they me go on. You know them really. Okay, <laughs> that's it. You said, you said the guy is from that Pegasus and he left. Mm. All right, so um, growing up, what was your dream? What you wanted to do? What would you like to do? Them, me want to do as a profession chef. Um, but me never go, me never go far, far around with it because sometimes me have problems with people. Okay, so growing up, you want you didn't want to be a journalist, you didn't want to be an accountant, you didn't want to be a mechanic, you wanted to be a professional chef. Yeah. Okay, but you didn't. Because you can't move along with certain people. Oh, you can't move along with people, well. So, you just want their own thing. Yeah, them, them bitch me all over. Okay. All right, so let me have some questions I want to ask you before we get to know you better. Yeah. And I'm sure you didn't know that. He wanted to become a professional chef and he was working. I didn't know he usually work at Pegasus, so thank you for that information. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna ask you a question, some questions that you're gonna speak up and you're gonna answer. Yeah. The first question is: what is something you've never been able to do well? For you know yourself, you can do it good. Is that so good, Christian, that? <laughs> what you can't? Tell me something you can't do good. No matter how you try it, you can't do it good. Try it. We, we can't sing, we can't sing, but we can't dance a little bit. We can't sing, we can't sing. Okay, so you can't sing, but you can dance a little. Yeah. Okay, all right. What would you change your name to? If you were to change your name, what would you change it to? Change my name to no. My foot, my, no, my, my name, my name, Derek Anthony Morgan. So if you change your name from Derek, what would you change it them to? Them always, them always call me Frosty. So you don't change your name to Frosty? I did everybody call me. But what would you change your name to if you get a chance to change your name? I don't think I change my name. No. You want to change your name? No. I don't change my name. No, I'm not going to change your name. Are you going to change your name? No. All right, other question. If you could choose to stay a certain age forever, what age would that be? I'm going to stop my age at 16. I'm be sweet 16 forever. Oh. What age would you be? When I'm 23. You don't want to be 23? You don't stay at 23? Yeah. Why? 23 when you have all your fun? Yeah. Okay. I like that. <laughs> all right. All right, so um, what nicknames have people called you throughout your life? For your group, give me some names that people call you. 
Then you should call me woman. They call you frosty. Then you should call me woman, man. They call you woman, man, a country? Yeah. What else? Not more. Oh, they say they call him frosty, a woman. Man. Whoa. Whoa. Derek Morgan, we're talking to. But Derek, do you remember when you became viral? When you, when you, when you, when, do you remember the time when everybody started to say Derek Morgan? Oh. The time when they say, all the girls run out. Run out. Who have the good, good? Them who must run out. No, 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 no. Oh, that's when they get became viral when they say run out, run out, run out? Yeah. It was your own time. Wow. Man. So I think you went on your live and you said something about run out. What, what did you say? Do you remember? Um, if, if, first time I go on the live, I said, all the girls, they, they must run out. No, 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 no. I said, everybody start run with it. So and that's when it became viral. Everybody started saying Derek Morgan. Yeah. Wow. So how did you feel at that time? Me never, me, me never feel so me never feel so bad about you know, because right now we can't walk in peace at all. Anywhere we go, everybody has said Derek. Look, I look over me, all this is stand up one boy, pass one by car. Boop, 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 boop. I know me look funny. <laughs> Everybody's saying Derek Morgan now. From you yeah. did that, yeah. and um, you, 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 you became viral, and then now you started trending. So everything you do, people started to follow you. Yeah, I now get nothing. <laughs> not a thing. So you said people following you and not giving anything. Nothing. All right. So, but you you said that you are homeless. Yeah. So how did you become homeless? Um. When we used to live in a Max Love, you mm -hmm. them always used to take set for me. Mm -hmm. I get fed up. I can't take them more. So I move out to the community. Cause the get her it's violent or oh, say so you were you used to live in maxby which is um, yeah probably allegedly a violent community so yeah who usually live with in maxfield you still live with me and but from that she, when she passed i still live around the same oh so you still live with the aunt but you still at the house when she passed yeah okay. rent house okay yeah somebody did it did it did it i mean can but every day it's like get up on a course 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 and when my cousin is a hurt, I can't take it no more. Mm -hmm. The cousin and the boy, I'm going to bat down every day. I decide to not sit down every day. I know, every time they see me, boom, 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 boom. And you know, them we have for them, them slang. I have to tell you the truth. They call me Akon and him. I can't take it no more. So I decide to not sit down and I'm going to kill me. Okay, so you decided you're not going to stay in Maxfield because you're, you're, you're fearful for your life. Yes, I'm so you left Maxfield and you became, you just say, you know, say, I come out of the house you're living in and you don't live on the street? I don't really live on the street, you know, we catch all over. Oh, so you just come out and start catch because you think that was your, you could get peace of mind by Yeah, that. yeah. Wow. So since then, what year was this? Do you remember? From like, from like 2000, I come down straight and I don't stop all now. So, right. so that's more than how many years? More than 10 years? Oh, you're going up 16 years now. About 16 years? Yeah, I'm yeah, all over the globe. Catch us, catch us all. Right now, I went down to uh, Guess House Farm Beach Avenue. I pay 2000 every night. Yes, oh, so you're actually living at Guess House now? Every night. All right, so tell me what is a day like in um, I'm a homeless person's life. So give me, just give me one of your day from morning to, to night. What would you do? So you wake up in the morning? When I wake up in the morning, you know, mm -hmm. get up. I'm going to go down town. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I'm mostly in emancipation park, sit down, mm -hmm. and people pass and then call to me. So you stay, you, so you move, get up, go to downtown emancipation park. Yeah, we go to emancipation park in the morning, and then stay when it's on at, mm -hmm. we go to town. Mm -hmm. And after town? I go to East Queen Street to town and barber shop. So one girl that run barber. Uh -huh. It's not really hard to come home back. So that's what your day is like almost every day? Yeah, every so day. So what about breakfast, lunch, and dinner? I buy, I buy box food. So what you eat for breakfast? Breakfast, I buy porridge. Oh, you can't so get can... a two bills porridge for town. Oh, so you get a grab a two bills porridge yeah. and for lunch, you grab a little box food. Yeah. So every day you, so while, as you wake up from the guest house, you come out, yeah. you grab a little breakfast. You get ready and you come out. And you get your lunch. And you, and you, so what would you eat for dinner? Me, when I come back in a mansion prison park, I go up and buy my little food. And sometimes I go live. People can't bless me with a little change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I sometimes say, they put pin up your cash shop and I pay it. Okay, okay. Mm. And then you get a little change and you buy your. Yeah. We're going to get a game show. So we're going to play a game. Are you ready to play a game? Yeah. All right, let's go. All 
All right, so we're going to eat blindfolded. Yeah. Right? So we have a bone in front. Easter just gone, people. So we have a bone in front of us, Derek. Yes, man. All right. And we're going to be blindfolded. Show me a blindfold. We're going to be blindfolded. And we have a minute on the clock. At the end of a minute, the first person to eat most of the bone, if not all, wins. You think you can win me? No, no, man. We try. All right, come. So we let's put on our blindfold. All right, oh, it's, all right, ready? Tell us when to go. Your hand must be behind you. Okay, and behind you. Ready? Let me see if your hand behind you. Your hand must be behind you, Derek. Your team. Oh. <laughs> ready? Three, two, one, go. Ready. Mmm, <laughs> 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 Not enough song. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. I don't got room. Sorry. Oh, you broke it. Yeah, me broke it. Yeah, no, you know, it's on. Yeah, me, me, me use mine and broke it. People, Derek is the only person that come on the show and tell me that he died. Derek never bites his bone and let's have me alone. You tricked me. No. You tricked me, man. I broke his and put them out, man. See? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So let me, let's, talk, let's talk about your abilities. What are you able to do well? Apart from cooking, what other abilities do you have? Ability? Mm hmm. Anything come my way, me do it. Anything come my way, do it. So, what are you good at? What do you know you're good at? Good at mm -hmm. cooking and baking. Point, you're good at cooking and baking. So, those yeah. are your two your strong points. Yeah, strong points. But at some point in time, I heard you said that you can you can take care of the house. You can yeah, we can take care of the house. And but gardening and. Yeah, because I'm so desperate. I'm saying about your abalic or caretaker um, job. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to do that. That's about security guard. You don't think you'd be a security guard? Mm -mm. Okay. Couldn't work with a security guard. I can't work with man. <laughs> they can't work with man. I mm -mm, can't work with man. So you said um, you would, you would, uh, you can bake, you yeah. can cook, yeah. you can take care of the yard, you can do gardening, yeah. those sort of stuff. Yeah. Okay, nice. And um, do you remember a time when you were extremely happy? Happy? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Sometimes I'm happy and sometimes I'm sad. Tell me a time when you're really happy. Tell me about a time when you're really happy and what made you happy. When I have a lot of people around me, we always tease me and take set up. So once people are teasing you and stuff, um, you're, you're okay, you're happy. Yeah. So anybody did anything to you or you went somewhere or you did something that you were so happy you didn't want it to end? Do you remember any point in your life like that? Mm -mm. No, no, no. Never had, never, mm -mm. never had a great happy moment. Like you go to a function, you go to somewhere, you were just laughing right through. Any, any time when me reach the emancipation park, them time when me happy. Oh, happy. when you're in emancipation park, you're happy. Because we, we meet nice people, and sometimes we go on for the north coast of Ochi. Okay, and then those are your happy moments. Yeah. Well, around decent people. Decent people. Right. So people, if you want there to be happy, you have to be decent. You know, if you're not decent, you're not going to be happy. Yeah, me not like me not like terrible people. You don't like terrible people. No, what's like on me, terrible like. Oh, you terrible. Yeah, because me can't bother every day. And then disrespect me, I may go answer. Most sometimes with the panic that them are disrespect. Yeah. I may answer and some people say, 
me and no manners. I mean, I like a cuss people, but I don't know that them. Most of the time, when they're on TikTok, Dirty Derek, you want to beat all them something, then deal with me. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. those, so, those are the things that really piss you off. Yeah. And made you upset. Make you upset. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, um, so you're not going to just get up and cuss nobody? No, I'm not going to cuss nobody. Plus, sometimes them say, Derek, you're a big man. Oh, you're not, you're not having a woman and you're not have this. I say, leave me alone. I said, I'm not troubling you. Yeah, about woman and them something. I said, leave me alone. Well, so because that's where I'm going now because I'm going to talk about family and relationship. You say you have no family now. No, no so uncle, no nieces. Them, 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 family, all in their country. You know, go on there. But I'm surprised that you said you're 50 years old. You're 50. Yeah. Wow. You know, look so bad for 50. You don't. So, so that means all your people that have been older than you, that have been, as in your 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 uncle, they have been much older than you. Yeah, all them, yeah. Them. So you have no cousins? You have them, me have cousins, but I don't go around them. Oh, so you have cousins, but they don't go around them. So yeah. you don't have any family relationship at all? No. I have family, but I don't go around them. You don't go around them? Yeah. Why you don't? Peace of mind? Certain reason. Oh, certain reason. Say you can't talk to <laughs> There is a certain reason. You can't, certain... you can't talk on air? No, we can't. Okay, but you will have them. Yeah. Okay. Um, relationship. Are you dating anybody? Are you in love? Are you any of that? Not at the moment. Not at the <laughs> Not at the moment. So what, you recently got through a breakup? My foot. What a point there. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there is a what a point there. But you had a relationship. So you'd have found love. Eh? You'd have found love. And the person who, who you'd have dated would be somebody you'd have been in love with and they love you and you feel good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're hoping to find somebody, yeah. somebody soon that can love you for who you are and appreciate for who you are. Yeah. Well, so on online in recent time, um, you posted a video that was very interesting, right? And it's about one of my guests who came on the show. You said you went downtown. People, look at this video. Guys, them go me see downtown Kingston, Candy. I said, I want to look at candy mold. Candy mold rotten. The teeth are rotten. Candy. I said, Mama, not even a good teeth now, but the teeth are rotten. So, no, so, no, the pan shows up. No, can't help candy. People pan the Instagram, the TikTok. Yeah, on the top of the help candy, man. Don't do bad on the baby. They don't have the girl. Candy, they don't turn Kingston today. And I saw her don't turn Kingston with a. Um, Teeth them rotten bad, I teeth them rotten bad. Teeth them rotten bad. Then you see one go, I want go dentist. People, nobody can fix them up here. So you said about candy. Okay. <laughs> she don't stop. She not. Yes, yes. She, she do an act. She, she do an act video with me again. And, but, and them gone viral. They didn't stop go viral. You know the punk candy. So, but you you started it. <laughs> no, no, me started it. You said you were no told that you see candy with this video. Wait, no, another, and how it go? How it go? Can you see me? I'm a friend. Uh, you know, man's pitch. I'm don't um, remember. It's a family show, no expletives, none of those bad words. Don't the park. So, can you see you in the park? Yeah, she can't miss himself. She might make me two dollars, two bills. So, can you make me money? So can you start to disrespect me? Okay, she can't move me up. Yeah, yeah, I'm answer her. I'm a come out, come out. And she draw, she draw, she draw a knife. I'm on lady said team said, can you put on the knife? Can you, you can't do dirt nothing. So number the page she don't mind. So I start go one side and do my video. When I do the video, don't, don't it, it just gone viral. Oh, so it's after um you you guys had the altercation when she draw a knife at you, you went and said, can the teeth, can the this, can Yeah. The oh, and so. it got viral. Oh. Okay. And she she wants to style me and tell me, um, them type of people, eh? and she go on and me answer up. Oh. And she and she go back and she be like, via. Last and again, I'm bring her down back and it gone viral again. Me not look on candy. <laughs> but me not, me not, me not, number one, me not go get big boss and stay like she. Oh, okay. You can't go on big show, but my man, a big show and boss, and you gone down. So, no, you couldn't do that. Okay. So you you believe once you get a big break, you're gonna stay on top? Of course, never come down. 
So I see a lot of things on TikTok with you. Yeah. And you're very current. You're very current because even at the time when a student at, do I think it was Immaculate? One of those schools went on the roof. I don't remember the school. Sorry if I said that. Um, Queen's High School. Queen's. Yeah, Queen's High School. And you take up that and you, you made a video about it. You see, look, you see, look a school girl up at Queen's High School. Come like she's sick now, nah, brilliant. As she follow the fire, the fireman. Gump on the, the, the school top. What she do up there, sir? What she do? Oh, now nah, mind till I forgot to do them something there. Because suicide, I said, the girl who go Queen's High School. The girl who go Queen's High School is a wicked little girl. No mind until I go, go take, I said, go up on the rooftop, go jump off. She was to see the man with last sweet the fireman, and she can't go, she can do it. Little girl, you need to stop it. What kind of problem you have, little girl? The girl who go Queen's High School. The girl who go Queen's High School. Warm to you, little girl. You have what kind of problem you have you gone on the school top? The school top you gone to jump off. Last week a fireman go pan. I go viral too. So what what are what you know, you just take up your phone and decide, alright, I'm gonna record this. Or do you intentionally go on and say, alright, look how I'm gonna make something viral? You know, you know about that now, you know when you just sit down. Yeah. And those things come and say. Yeah. I'm gonna just go and talk. Yeah. And after me, everybody can you know, so some gone viral. I say, eee, shoo. And everybody I, I post it up on them status and, and I saw it. Oh, so you just go on your phone and just talk. Yeah. And they just go viral. Because it, it seems like, I mean, a lot of people want what you have. A lot of people want to go on their phone and say something and go viral and reach the world. True. And you can just do it. So that is something that you must be grateful for. Yeah, true. And, and, use it wisely and appropriately because you have an influence yeah. because if you can go on your phone and say x and x reach right across the world that means you you have an impact yeah. so i don't want you to ever ever imagine um how great you are and how great you can be yeah. because you can reach the world not just one i mean if me go on my phone now and say something it now past kingston probably you know but you reach up and reach everywhere yeah true so just know that whenever you go on your platform, um, you can reach far. So, how do you finance yourself? Oh, bad. How you get money? How you do that? You said earlier that people come on your TikTok um, and and would probably give you money sometimes, but most time we most time we leave out on the guest house. I mean, I walk on the road. You, you, see, you see some people hype. Most women, yeah. Then we might drive there. And him start video me and him say, all right, Derek, she had toast the layer. Mm -hmm. I saw me always make money. Oh, so people just give you the yeah. money or something. Yeah, and most women are like park, the emancipation park. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So 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 apart from the money you get on TikTok, people bless you with I'm toast now, five hundred or yeah. like whatever it is. Yeah. And, and sometimes we might people oh, Overseas, it might seem like a change. Oh, people overseas yeah. that, that love and appreciate you. Yeah. So, have you tried um, like applying for work or 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 yeah? Yeah, I'm applying for work and right now me and my lady we work the public service headquarters right out there up on Knoxville Boulevard. Mm -hmm. I got a I got a Monday. Oh, for an interview? No, not interview. She had she had some photocopy things with me, some recommendation. Okay. So I'm come pick it up Monday. Okay, good. So where have you gone asking for work? Um, we go all about. Like where? We go um. In Rocks Hotel, Long Pan King Street. We go Rock, Rock. And we go AC Hotel job application. My mom in a job done a pick at source. Oh, so you're trying to go to the hotels to get work? You yeah. want to work in the food? Yeah. That's where you want to work? Yeah. We try all about. So like the supermarket, the. We never go supermarket. Mostly. Food place, man. Only food place, man. Yeah, go. most food place. Okay. Um, and you're still waiting on him to call you back. Yeah. So you're actually trying to get a work. Try all the while, me try. I mean, I'm specialized now. If anything come my way, me take it. Anything come my way, me go go for it. So I know, I know, working in a small market is one of the probably easiest way when you're when you're not, you know. Yeah. So why you ever consider working in some market to, um, to do any of that as a start to where you want to go? Yeah, if if. 
every time come working at the moment, I get it. If we get the job there, we work. But we never. But you never never applied. No, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna play another game. Yeah. And this is one of our signature games for the show. And it's your opportunity to get some money on the show. You're not happy about that? Yeah, mommy, happy man. You know, you're a money person, you're supposed to know you're a money a lot. So we will see how good you are. And the name of the game is called Money O. Let's go. All right, so on this table is money. So hitting among the money is all the different currencies. Black currency, all different notes. And the aim of the game is to pick up as many as you can. And any amount you pick up is yours. Okay. So you can pick up everything? Let me try, man. Pick up everything, you know? Yeah. Okay. So you have some tools. You're going to be blindfolded. And this is what you're going to use to pick up the money. And you're going to hold this plate and put it on this plate. So at the end of it, any amount of money that is on this plate, it is? Yours. Yours. Let's go. So put your mask on. So take off your glasses. Hold it for you right here. You know see. No, I'm not saying nothing. People who know if I'm not saying nothing. Here's the plate. Asking. Which one do you use? Left or right? This one. This, you use this one, right? Yeah, yeah. So we have a minute on the clock. So we can get a minute on the clock, please. A minute on the clock. Let's go. Woo. You have to move faster. It's a minute. There it's a minute. There's some magnet to the small one, baby. <laughs> <laughs> come on, there, come on. You can Good job. You can do better than that, man. Come on. Nice. Woo! You played full. <laughs> yes. Yes. How many, how many seconds left? Nice. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Good job. Me tired a good job. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take off your mask. Derek, you're a disappointment. You're a disappointment. Can you believe what happened? I'm going to be blind for you know. Yes. What you see it right. You have a company in front of us in the $500 of them. The toes that. Derek. People, how did he do? How oh, you feel you're going? I'm going well. Can't remember you, if I'm this going well? Yeah. Everything <laughs> 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 going well, can't blindfold. Me now going well, I'm going to take up everything right here, mm -hmm. so. All right, no problem. All right, so Derek. I give you a chance to get a lot of money while again, you never take it. <laughs> I have one more chance for you and I make sure Make sure you 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 get it. Um, so let me talk to you now. Uh, say you care for people. Yeah, let like me say. And um, I've seen on social media where you're always asking for help for people. Yeah, can me really let me do some. Do I tell you? I cook for hundred people. I told um, you cook. Yeah, food for yeah. one hundred pers one hundred persons. Don't yeah. tell. Yeah, the ninth of April, do it. Then you did the ninth of April. We're gone. Okay, so so what did you cook for the one hundred persons? I cook um, stew chicken and curry chicken. Stew chicken and curry chicken. Yeah, stew chicken and curry chicken. Right. And you brought it to them? Yeah, we, um, we, we, get, we get sponsor. And oh, we, you got sponsor? Yeah, I cook it at so you, Rallington oh, Town. Rallington Town? Yeah, we so know. somebody, how somebody? Yeah, I'm around here and help. Okay, so how, how did you seek your sponsors? Um, up at TikTok. Oh, so you just tell people, say, hey. Yeah, and nice. then send, in, send in them donation. Nice, that's nice. You take yeah. on, you, you on TikTok, you take on TikTok. We we'll uh, post up on TikTok. Okay, so people, take a look at this video.
Yeah. And at that, that meeting, I said, you know, about mm -hmm. candy, you know, said people can reach out and help candy and, and candy just take it at a portion and start and go on. Okay, so when you said people must help candy, yeah. So you were actually trying to, dis I'm not desperate, but you're trying to, uh, what a word that may I try? It's just coming from a good place. Yeah. You were seeking help for candy. Yes, yeah, so because most people every day, they want to take picture with them and I take picture with them. Yeah. And I get a little two, two bills. That can't work. I mean, I'm not going to make nobody see me down to take a picture with me. Right. I mean, I'm a stage writer, so no, no one can do it. Okay, so you wanted help for candy. And I've heard you asking for help for other people too. Yeah, all the while, all the while. And people are saying, there you go, you ask, and for you ask for yourself. Yeah. But why, why, why you not ask for yourself, but for others sometimes? Because I love cheer. Oh, you love sharing. Yeah. Oh, that's good because. I mean, I said, I mean, I said, I mean, 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 So you need the help for yourself, but you still find time yeah. to help somebody else. Right. That is very good. Very, very good. I really commend you for that. Yeah. Uh, because people take for themselves because they True. want it. And yeah. you find the time to help somebody else. Right. You deserve to be helped. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be appreciated. Yeah, because if you say, oh, night time, I come, you know. Yeah, before me went at the step, mm -hmm. but go inside. You have to pay two grand every night. Me have to pay two grand. So every night you pay you pay two grand. Yeah, every night, fourteen thousand left for the week. Wow, fourteen thousand. I me can't afford it now. Right now, me want to lift this up tomorrow morning. Oh, you want to? Okay, all right. So why do you think people always say Derek Morgan? Why do you think people always come on your live? Why do you think people always? follow you why do you people why do you think people always see on the road and say Derek Derek why what's so special about you I don't know you know most of them love say him love trees and then go on and like I tease me to make me answer them mm -hmm. and I answer them again because I know what I'm up to oh so you think people mostly say Derek Morgan because they want to get a reaction from you they yeah want... I last time I went me down in the apple tree one care little boy come up on me Way, 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 I miss her to answer them back. Me tell me answer them, them a, a video, them a video, and put it up. Oh, so they're just trying to do it to get a reaction from you. Yeah, me. but I'm not entirely anybody say anything to me. Now look on them, now say how really things to them. So, how do you really feel um, at this stage when people trouble you? When people, you know, you know, say things to you, say things about you, come on your lives, you're on the road. How do you really feel? I feel bad sometimes. Mm -hmm. And go on, make be a nice and answer them. But so after the moment, like when they say it in the moment, you feel bad. How long does that bad feeling stay with you, or you just sweep it off, or it? Me, 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 me just when me just quarrel with them, me just make it go on. And some people say they're not paying no mind, and say them I look hype and follow, and I look on them. Mm -hmm. I don't care, run come look you. I don't really want mean thing, they not come on, come look you. I walk, me can't tell her, me can't walk anywhere at all, and no. Nobody not stole me, nobody not done up them. Them they may tease me for make night me make nice, but not more than that. Mm -hmm. I tell you the truth. And we So So you feel it, it makes you feel bad because um people he's like you and I. You understand? And um we want to we were designed to be loved and appreciated. And if we're not getting love, we're gonna feel away. Yeah. So as human, you're gonna feel away. True. And it is very unfortunate that you're unable to live a life. Of authenticity, right. which is to be yourself. Yeah, you know, and uh, I hope and pray that you know people will evolve, people will change, and things will get better right. for you. Because you want better, don't it? You want better, more left on your side, me direct. You want left wrong for you. Just out. What what support would you want now in life? What support would you want? Support. Mm -hmm. Get a nice room to live. Nice home to live and. Comfortable. You want somewhere to live. Comfortable. That's what you really need, a place to live. Right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Food and them things. Nice things to wear. And comfortable. So you just want to be comfortable in life. Yeah. But in order to be comfortable in life, we will need we need money. Yeah. Right? I mean, and um or we need people to support us. Yeah. So in terms of housing, where have you gone? And if you do you see any house no a house no that is the artist you had want to live, or do you know anybody that would have a house that that's where be you be a premise? Mm -hmm. Lot of premise. You you want to see when the company that like, me have a room, you're not a room, 
Let me run out the jungle. Me have a room at River Town City. I have them something in come with them. So I'm going to come with that pan, pan life again. I'm going to come with that pan, that pan. But work, please, because really, they tell me how to kind of thing. All of them come and say, I have a room, I don't do all. And I Spanish, but then kill me in Spanish town. All them something. So the thing about it is that um, I believe that there are persons out there who wants to help you. Good and, people. Yeah, there are good people out there that really wants to help you. And I, would, I believe that they might be a little bit scared that if they put you in a particular place, then, um, you know, you might bring disrepute to the place. What can you say to somebody no. now that if they give you somewhere to live, you're going to make sure that it is, it is a healthy place in the community, in the area, in the house um, to live? People... Let me tell you something. People might, people might feel say me, me a bad person. You're not a bad person. No, I'm. Me love to disrespect people. No, when I get up and disrespect nobody like that. People always disrespect me. I may me answer them. Right. So if nobody don't trouble you, me not, me not answer people. So you're saying, so if you get somewhere to live, and once nobody in the in the in the in the community yeah. don't trouble you, then then. You'll be good. Of course. Matter of fact, me don't want me me not, me not like ghetto. You don't like ghetto. You don't no. want to be in the ghetto. No. See what about Beverly Hills? Not really Beverly Hills. <laughs> not quite here. I mean, I live somewhere quiet, quite and peaceful here. I'm not like ghetto. No. What is your preferred party? PMP or JLP? Party? Mm -hmm. JLP. You so say you're JLP and JLP is in power. I'm glad you said. I mean, I pray said don't say PMP. <laughs> but you know, say so I want to make my point. You know, so the JLP is in power. So, have you gone? So you voted for the Labour Party? You know, we do have a video for the Labour Party. Yeah, and I mean, I hear nothing. I'll call me. I come to them and want to say, okay, you make any video? The Prime Minister, Mister, come to video. Me make a minute. Me not see nothing. I want to know. Me make one in the park. So you made a video asking the Prime Minister for help. Yeah, me not get. Me so me you've go. never seen him anywhere. When I'm up, when I'm up, the open, when I'm up, parliament open, then I can't go now, God knows. Yeah. Me down there, and I, and I make video, and people post it, me know you're going to fire it. So what attempt have you made to reach the Prime Minister directly? Or who you asked to reach the Prime Minister on your behalf? Me ask people me know where, 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 where all the politics are, no for my politics. Mm -hmm. I said, Derek, do it and 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 try your luck. When I clear the terms, if you do it, because she work a garden out, if you do the letter, and care can give her and she carry tea. I do it on a year and go and fire it. I I don't want to pass up, I don't hear nothing about it. So, uh, you, like many persons, would have been in situations and they don't cry out for help. But I know for sure you've been crying out for a long him. time. Look how look how him do um the peanut man and peanut man well alright one me. So you've cried out for help. So Yeah, I see you know the peanut man. Yeah, I'd have seen the videos. Okay. So I'm imploring you, government of Jamaica, if there's any way you can assist Derek Morgan as a human being and as a citizen of this country, um, because he's been crying out for help for a very long time. Very, very long time. So I'm asking, really asking, begging, see how best we can help um, to, to support him because he's just asking for somewhere to live. House, shelter, food, clothing and water, I think those are the basic um, needs of life. Yeah. And as a country, we're supposed to see how best we can help to satisfy those needs. So government of Jamaica, I'm asking, please I'm asking to see how best we can um, assist Derek yeah. Morgan. And Derek, we're using this platform to be, to ask on your behalf. Right. So we are asking that you kind of just adjust your baby a little bit, mm. so people are more inclined to help you because you can you make them draw you out too much. I true your talk. Don't make them draw you out because they are drawing you out to get a response, and that response is making it difficult for people to come and support you. Yeah. So when people say the negatives about you, you just need to ignore it totally so whatever you're doing on your platform make it positive and friendly so sure. people want to help you and sissy you really want help. so sure. a long time you see you know i miss you enough time you know you did all the while whoa well my my <laughs> my 
my my inbox can be really really a mess sometimes but i remember after, when we first when we shoot the first episode for candy uh my my team brought a message that you sent to me yeah and i decided that all right let's consider you for the show and then people everybody been asking about Derek, so we decided that we're going to do this just I, for i'm you. a friend when we see you come on pan in the, the live one night what do you remember that tone yeah, yeah. Because I mean, you you make you make us laugh, you make us happy, despite of your situation, despite of who you are, you make us happy. We we, we use your songs on TikTok, yeah. so the most that we can do is show some appreciation to you. That's the most we can do. Well, we have a final game to play with you, <laughs> and this game is another chance for you to get some money because you want money and you never do good the last time. So this game we're going to play gives you another chance. To, pick, to eat to, to get some money and the name of the game is called eat fast what's the name of the game eat fast eat fast can you eat fast me try to win money me try yeah eat fast 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 let's go all right derek so in front of you is my favorite from kentucky fried chicken and they are called spicy wings. Anybody know spicy wings? Yes, we do. And we're giving you 60 seconds to eat as many wings as possible. You have to eat it all. Every wing you eat, you get $500. Mm. Every wing you eat up, you get $500. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, so you have a minute to eat of as many as possible each thing you get you eat you get five hundred dollars you have to eat it up to the bone are you ready yeah are you ready a minute on the clock let's go one You have to eat them up clear that too. God. Oh, this smells so good. I want to help you there. Come on, you have one good. You have one good. Eat faster, man. Come on, eat faster. Come on, three. Eat up there. Eat faster than that, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Four, ten seconds. Ten seconds. To give you everything in my hand. Come on, Frosty! Frosty! Come on, Frosty! <laughs> Woo! Mm. Three, two, one. That's it. Alright, so you had what? Come, come in the camera. So one, two, three, four, five. See, I had six pieces. Oh, you feel it? You can't talk. Look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you had six pieces, very good. So you said 2,000 for a night for a hotel. So you have one, two, three nights. You win three nights of order plus what you want earlier. Congratulations. Alright, so you eat up your wings then. Right. Uh, so what will make you happy so, now? If you, you say if you get a house, yeah. and you get sorry to live, that is that is that that will make you happy. Happy. Really happy. Yeah. And uh, for the people who love and care for you, what do you have to say to them? Many thanks. Many thanks. That's, that's all many thanks? Many thanks. And, and people care about me. I wish them success. Yeah. And most, most of them like Derek Morgan. I like Derek Morgan. Yeah. All right. So. No hatred. No, 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 no hatred. Right. Hatred. <laughs> so. There are some people that really care and love, love you. And um, this is probably my Auntie Donna moment because some people send some stuff for you. And um, I have two envelopes for you. Thank you. So this envelope has money in it. And um, Orly and Shanika Smith from Connecticut decided that they're paying for a room for you for one night. Yes. So here you go. Thank you very much. And then another friend who decided to be named Anonymous, paying for another room for you. 
So here you go. Thank you very much. So you're good to go. Yeah. And, and tell them many thanks. Tell them many thanks. <laughs> many, thanks. <laughs> many thanks, people, and God bless you. And God bless you. And keep you. So we have two more gifts for you. So when um, when you reached out to us um, to the show, um, my team decided that we are going to put something th something together for you so you can make sure that you eat because food is life. And if you know me, you know you've got to eat. So mm -hmm. the team put together two gifts for you. And the first one, right. So this is a basket full of goodies just for you. Thank you. So take your basket. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. So the team went to the supermarket and they picked up um, a basket full of goodies for you. Yes. And another basket for with some um, basic necessities that you need to make sure that you're clean and healthy and you can have a good shower, good this, good that, everything. Yes, so these are for you. Hold them very good. Here's some of them. Hold them. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for my team for looking out for you. And God bless everybody. God bless, bless you bless, too. Bless me too. We get blessing people. Put your foot. Yeah. So whenever you never no, go, go again. We say whenever you this you know. Oh, I thank you so much. Yeah. You know we we are blessed to be a blessing to other others. And this show, oh, William and Gary, come go home with it. Thank you. <laughs> So this show would have been blessed by the number of you who would have tuned in weekly to watch this uh, to watch my show Thanks. and um i'd have seen all your comments i try my best you know what i miss my team would bring to me and i look at your comment and i'm blessed to have you watching my show week after week despite whomever um, that i bring on the show and this is our way of blessing you with whatever cash we have that we'll, that we, that we, that we'll give to you. And I hope that you'll get the blessings that you deserve yeah. uh, because love has no boundaries. I was raised to love everybody. Yeah. I was raised to treat the janitor just like how you teach, um, just like how you treat the principal. That's how I was brought up. Yeah. And I am giving you my love and appreciation letting you know that there are people out there that love you yeah. and care for you. So when times get, I feel like I get emotional. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry, but when times get low for you and you feel like there's nobody that really cares for you, just remember there's at least one person out there that care for you, so just find solace in that fact. Not everybody gonna love you. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Not everybody gonna care for you. Not everybody gonna call you the names you want to hear. But you just have to be true to who you are. Love yourself first. Because if you don't love yourself, yeah. nobody can love you. Do you love you? Yeah, mom, love myself. Right, and that is what is important. So yeah. thank you for coming on my show. And God bless you. Thank you for the blessing. And, and the, the, the team. Thank you so much, my team. Thank yeah. you. And the yeah, you must thank everybody. <laughs> and we really appreciate you people. We are at the end, I believe, of season three of the Total Package Show. I hope you have seen your favorite social media personalities. I know you've been asking for, uh, you've been, two, I got two main requests. And they were you and Brittany. Unfortunately, I tried to get Brittany for you all. <laughs> and you know, it didn't work in our favor. But don't be surprised if I might just drop something if she decides to. Come. But thank you for journeying with me for the past 12 weeks. It has been a really, really good journey. I'd have, I'd have met uh, most of these people you see on social media every day. Sit with them, talk with them, and you'd have learned something about them. Because this show is about that. We see you all every day. And I decided to use this season to highlight um, the people on social media give us a laugh every day and uh, I thank you. Thanks. I thank you. I really thank you for for watching and Derek if anybody wants to help you How can they contact you? Oh, my number is one eight seven. Oh, you're giving out your number. Yeah, so anybody can call you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Your number is one eight seven six three six four six three forty one. Okay, so his number is right here people. So please just call. If you're, if just, just be positive. And you're, if you're not helping, don't call. Yeah. So, 
So Derek, this show, just a disclaimer that this show will collect no money on your behalf. Yeah, ma'am. No. We will collect no money on your behalf. Anybody who wants to help Derek, please contact him directly. Don't contact me or my team. Yeah. Contact Derek directly with the number that is below. And you can follow him on social media. What's your Instagram and TikTok? Um, underscore Derek Morgan Backup. Underscore De Derek Morgan Backup. Find him on TikTok. It's right here as well. So follow him. So people, until next season, when I return with a brand new episode, you know this show is about highlighting familiar faces. So I'm going into another field next season. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. You'd want to stay for that. Remember, if you don't subscribe yet, you need to subscribe right now. So when I drop the new season of the Total Package show, you'll be the first to be notified. Remember that authenticity does create an audience and your authentic self is going to turn on the little notification belly thing right there. So when I drop, you'll be in the audience because authenticity creates audience like you. Thank you for allowing me to be my authentic self. And until next season, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I said that already, but I want to say it again. Yeah. But remember to love. Show.